special education because it's majorly for 100 level and then 300 level students so special education so special education special education so today we have some objectives we have some aims in which we need to cover so today at the end of today's lecture we should be able to know the definition of special education definition of special education definition of special education definition of special education the needs for special education needs for special education needs for special education definition of some terms definition of some terms in special education definition of some terms in special education and then situations in need of special education now we have the first outline that we have and definition of special education the second one needs for special education definition of some terms in special education and the last one which is situations in need of special education i believe at the end of this um tutorial we should be able to arrive at conclusion and know what all these is all about. now we we'll go with the first one definition of special education so we need to check the definition of special education Devin, when we're talking about special education, special education refers to the educational design and teaching strategy that is meant for students with learning difficulty or disability. Who, or let me say, the students who are unable to enroll in the regular school setting. Now, in that definition, I said it's just a type of education, a type of education that is uh, a type of educational design that is enrolled upon by some special teachers to dish out knowledge to people with difficulty who have difficulty in learning or who have a particular disability or the other now let me just bring out the definition i said the definition we said the special education refers to just the teaching teaching strategy strategy for people with disability this is strategy for people with disability or learning difficulty in our environment anywhere we find ourselves there is a saying that no two fingers are equal that is there are what there are differences we had a lot we have a lot of differences in the environment among the students among the society among the, each family that we have we have different codes being caught according to what different what different size we have students though we can have them in form of the male and female they are not what they are not totally what the same we have some difference that actually separates a student a from what from student b now in a class of five now we can have over like what five students a teacher can be what trying to what, pass out some things to some students we will notice that out of these five students they can be, we will see that some situations occur in which three will be able to grab the what knowledge as fast as, as possible why two will be unable to what to grab the what the knowledge they have what brings but different what working ability and that is what the special education is what is all about special education is, is designed to help people who have what problems in learning just like the other people problems in what in in processing information being passed to them by the teachers that is our um, special definition of special education that's the next one which is the needs for special education why do we need special education we need special education 
in the society, in the educational sector, so as to cater for people who are considered handicapped in the society. For a long period of time, we, 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 we tend to look at, to, we tend to stigmatize people who have difficulty in learning, who have a particular physical what, physical impairment, who have a particular what, problem in processing knowledge being passed to them by the what, by their teacher. So special education has been set up to what, to arrange, to cater for the needs of these students. We have some students who are unable to hear very well. Special education is designed for them. We have some students who are unable to see very well. Special education is designed for them. We have some students who have behavioral disorders. Special education is designed for them. We have some students who have emotional disorder. Special education is designed for them. Let's go to the next one, which is definitions of some terms in special education. We have some terms to take note of in special education before we move to situations in need of special education. Now, I'd like to list out those terms before we work. Before we work. Those terms, we have, for instance, we have exceptionality. We have exceptionality. We have exceptionality. We have disability. We have disability. We have impairment. We have handicap. Handicap. Now, I said the terms we have exceptionality, disability, impairment, and handicap. Now, we will go with the first one, exceptionality. Exceptional. When you say someone is exceptional, you have an exceptional attitude. That is, there is probability that that person has a characteristics, has a behavior that is not common in the society. Exceptionality refers to the what? To the exhibition of uncommon attributes. Exhibition of what? Uncommon attributes. Uncommon attributes. Or let me say, rare behavior. Exhibition of uncommon attributes, rare behavior. That is what? Exceptional. Let me make an example. For instance, we can have five or ten students. Out of these ten students, they were given examination or a test to determine their what, how knowledgeable they are. Out of these five students, now, or every one of them, or let me say out of hundred students, out of these hundred students, let me say ninety or let me say ninety-eight of these students scored what ten. We just have scores like ten, twenty. There is none of them that that actually what scored above 50. But we now discover that there is one of them that scored what that has 98. A lot of people have been claiming that this course is so difficult, it's so difficult. 98. Now we tend to say that this child is exceptional because this child carry a different characteristics shown, different characteristics shown in other what other students, not shown in other students rather. This student is what is exceptional. Now we know that as a human being, we can have we can have the eyes, we can have the leg, everything functioning as it ought to be. But when you see a what student coming into the school with crutches, with crutches coming into the school with crutches, trying to what to help to sustain him or herself, you see that this child, this student is actually what different from other students in the what academic setting. We can say that this student is what exceptional. Is exceptional now let's go to disability disability refers to what having deficiency having deficiency in carrying out a particular what a particular task what the want of ability that is not what present having deficiency for instance now you, you we, we i talked about exceptionality and i said a student trying to what Trying to walk, walk into the school premises with crutches, maybe has difficulty in walking. And eh? the you know, out of hundred students that are working perfectly and going into their work to the lecture room, you now see one that is trying to sustain him or herself with what with crutches. You know that that student is what exceptional among hundred, exceptional. But there is a disability 
in the ability of others. Others have the ability to walk and run to the lecture room, but there is a disability in that world. In that world, trying to work, help him or herself with crutches. Disability of walking, disability of running, disability of moving fast to get to the world, to get to the class. That is disability, that is the word. Deficiency in a task. Or, or let me say want of or let me say lack of ability lack of ability now let's quickly go to the next one impairment impairment refers to the partial partial what partial malfunction of a particular substance now let's relate it to special education the partial malfunction of part of the body of an individual. Part of the body of what? Of an individual. Impairment. We have various types of impairment. Visual impairment. Hearing impairment. Listen. It is not as if this man or this student do not have the ability to hear. It is that the student do not have the ability to hear very well. That is there is what? An impairment. Now, we have what? Ability to see. To see very clearly. Some students will tell you that coming all the way from what? From Ijago campus. If I see a signboard in front of what? Of the school. I can actually read from afar what is inside that what? Signboard. Some students will tell you that no, I cannot do that. Until I get to the front of what? Signboard. Two meters or let me say just few inches away. That is when I will be able to what? Picture that what? That uh, what, what is written there? That is, there is an impairment. It is not as if the eyes is not there, but there is an impairment in functioning. It is not as if the ears is not is not able to hear, well, but you have to move closer to that person before the person can what hear what you are saying. Now this, I said what partial malfunctioning, partial malfunctioning of a particular part. Now handicap. Handicap refers to the disadvantage, disadvantage caused as a result of all this. Caused as a result of what? All this. The disadvantage. For instance, now, you, you, someone, that is, someone that is having difficulty in working. Now there is a what? Huge turmoil. Huge chaos in the what? Campus. That requires every one of us what? To run. Now this handicap will not be able... This... This... This man or the student with special needs will not be able to run as others are what trying to what run for their life that is that student has been what handicapped that is what disadvantage due to all this now i think we are able to cover that now let's quickly go to the uh, last one here we have Situation in need of special education. Situation in need of special education, they include what various disabilities and difficulties. We have what we have speech disorders, we have learning difficulties, we have um, visual impairment, we have hearing impairment, we have behavioral disorders, we have um, let me try to check again. I think we have um, yes, I've been able to explain everything. We have intellectual what intellectual disorder. We also have memory disorder, a lot of things like that, but those are the words, situation in need of special, of what? special education. The next episode, we will go into all these situations, one after the other, and what? Do justice to them. Do like and subscribe on this channel, and know that just like and subscription motivate us to do more. Thank you.